Welcome to the Ultimate GDPR by Create AT video tutorial. In this video, you will learn about the basic Ultimate GDPR setup and available options. All the options and screens presented in this video are available in the version 1.5.8 or above. Make sure that your version is up to date and that in the plugins of the field you can see Create IT. Once the plugin is activated in the plugins section, you can navigate to the Ultimate GDPR tab for all the plugin settings. In the Introduction tab, you will find general information about the plugin's purpose and available options. Here you can see a list of available shortcodes, and at the moment we have five. Render Cookies list, you can add it to your Privacy Policy page or cookie information to display a list of all detected cookies from the Service Manager. This way, all the cookie information is available for your users. You can edit all displayed information for each cookie via the Service Manager. It will look like this. The next shortcode is Ultimate GDPR Cookie Pop-up. This one will display a link to the model with advanced cookie settings, which we will discuss further. If you plan to create a dedicated My Account page with all cookie settings, that would be a perfect place to use this shortcode. You will learn more about Ultimate GDPR Policy Accept and Ultimate GDPR Terms Accept in a further part of this tutorial. Also in the Introduction tab are the system requirements to use our plugin and quick links to our support forum and documentation. In the Compatibility tab you can see the list of plugins that are already integrated with our GDPR plugin. Don't worry if some plugins on this list are not highlighted in green. Only plugins which collect users' personal data matter. If in the column Accepts user Collects User Data, you can see Yes or Probably, but the plugin is not colored green, your action is required. You can integrate a new plugin on your own using our documentation. Don't be afraid if you are not a developer, our how-to is pretty easy. However, if you feel like this is too much, just contact our support and let them know that you need help. We will sort it out for you. Cookie Consent To collect users' personal data, most websites on the internet use cookies. It's very important to inform people visiting your website that it also uses cookies. In the Cookie Pop-up tab, you can load the cookie notice in one of predefined languages. Please note that this option will not translate the entire plugin automatically. It will only load content for the cookie pop-up and the advanced cookie model. To translate other parts of the plugin, you need .po and .mo files or a multilingual plugin. Check our documentation for detailed information about the plugin's translations. You can modify loaded content and if your language is not on the list, you can enter the content manually. In the Options section, you can select whether to display the cookie pop-up on all pages or just the selected ones. You can also hide the pop-up for all users from outside the European Union with this option. If you are using Google Analytics, please make sure to enter your Google Analytics tracking ID here. At the bottom of the page, you will find Detect Cookies button which triggers the cookie scanner. It will automatically detect all cookies used on your website and list it in the Service Manager tab. Please note that for third-party cookies you will need to edit some additional settings in the Service Manager. Above, you can see Download Consents Log button, with the list of consents given by your registered users. The look of the pop-up can be customized in the Preferences tab. You can choose where the cookie pop-up should be displayed, 
what colors and style it should have and how the buttons will look like. You can also set custom URL for the read more button displayed in the pop-up. In the cookie check area you can edit cookie scanner and cookie per preferences. If you regularly update your website and install new plugins or third-party scripts you can schedule regular scans every week, month or quarter to detect all new cookies. All detected cookies will be automatically assigned to one of the cookie groups and here you can select to which one. Of course you can change the cookie level individually in the service tab manager. If there are cookies which for some reason should never be blocked you can whitelist them here. Advanced settings. By navigating to advanced settings use advanced cookie groups pop-up you can display a model with different cookie levels to accept as well as an option to block all cookies. If you won't use this option in the cookie pop-up you will just have two buttons accept and read more which will look like this. Enabling advanced cookies will add another button for advanced settings. It will open a panel with cookie levels to be selected looking like this. Settings and content in this panel are fully editable. You can edit text content in advanced cookie settings, lists of features and label options groups. After saving the settings by the user, the pop-up will be closed. However, using the option Show Advanced Cookie Pop-up Always, even when the consent is given, you can allow users to edit their settings anytime they need with Trigger Cookie button. Appearance of the button can be edited in Trigger Cookie area. If you don't want to use all four levels of cookies, you can disable some of the groups in additional settings area. Service Manager. In the Service Manager tab, you can see a list of all cookies detected by the cookie scanner. Each cookie, or service, can be edited separately. All information added here will be displayed in the Render Cookies list table. Please make sure that for every service you have defined the values for service name and script names. They are required for blocking third-party cookies. Privacy policy, terms and conditions. In the admin panel you will find two screens with options for your website policy pages, separate for privacy policy and terms and conditions pages. Options are the same for both screens. If you have a privacy policy or terms and conditions pages on your website, you can add accept button for both. It can be done with ultimate GDPR terms accept and ultimate GDPR policy accept shortcodes. Just copy the shortcode and paste it below the privacy policy or terms and conditions content. If you want to be 100% sure that you are GDPR compliant, you can set a redirection to your privacy policy or terms and conditions page with a requirement to accept all conditions before browsing your website. All users logs will be saved and available for download with download consent log at the bottom of privacy policy and terms and conditions options screens. Please make sure to select privacy policy and or terms and conditions pages from your pages list. If you are using the redirection option, you can also select where the users will be redirected to after accept accepting the terms. If you can allow bots to crawl your website, even if redirection is set with do not block user agents containing the following text. Below you also find settings to change the accept button appearance. The right to be forgotten data access, data breach, data rectification. Under data access, right to be forgotten and data rectification, you will find settings for forms displayed with the ultimate GDPR My Account shortcode. 
add the ultimate GDPR my account shortcode to the page will be which will be dedicated for your users to contact you about their data. Users will be able to submit requests to access their data, remove it or rectify it. The list of all requests like this will be displayed at the bottom of data access, right to be forgotten and data rectification pages. Using checkboxes next to each request, you can perform global actions and send answer to multiple users. The answer will be sent to users via email. You can edit the default email content and subject using options in the top part of the page. Via data breach tab, you can send global notifications to all users in the, if their data, data was exposed. Services. In the services tab, you will find a list of all plugins integrated with GDPR. If you are using any of them, please make sure to adjust the settings. You can change the plugin description displayed in the right to be forgotten form and add a checkbox for users to give consent in each form generated by the plugin. At the top of the page, you will also find recapture settings for ultimate GDPR My Account forms. Pseudonymization. The pseudonymization feature allows you to encrypt some of the data stored in the database. That way, if anyone got access to your database, the user's data would be anonymous. Database contents are permanently encrypted and can be decrypted on the fly when accessed by users. You can also permanently decrypt all your contents. As always, before changing anything in your website, please make sure that you do a backup first. After that, you can select which data coming from which plugin should be encrypted. Make sure that you save settings after selecting this and then click on Encrypt Selected. If you still have some questions, just contact us. We are available on our support forum and under the dedicated mailbox. More detailed information can also be found in our online documentation.